okay surprise 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 hey you guys i thought i surprised you and come on on a sunday and do a video i don't know if you guys are like me but i am so sick of chicken i'm so sick of turkey i'm so sick of ham so today we're going to do brisket egg rolls something out of the box something you can even do for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, but no more chicken, ham, or turkey. And also, you guys, I don't know if he subscribed, but it was a gentleman that watched my one of my videos, and he said I was driving him crazy because I kept saying, you guys, you guys, you guys. So I'm not going to try to use that word uh, that often because I am pretty much a repetitive person so he got that correct but anyway you guys let's get started I'll show you the ingredients then we'll do this brisket egg rolls with a barbecue ginger sauce let's get rocking all right you guys here are the ingredients this is about a pound of smoked brisket that my son did for Christmas so we're gonna take this and you know chop it up nice smoky flavor he did a really good job and also you guys he can really cook if i can ever get him to come on uh, on my youtube channel he's a really great cook okay we're going to do ginger and we're only going to use a small piece and grate it because we're going to put it in the barbecue sauce all right this is our homemade barbecue sauce but feel free uh, to use a bottle barbecue sauce because what we're going to do, we're going to add the ginger, orange juice, uh, some black pepper. We're just going to kind of spike it up. All right, we're going to need black pepper. We're going to need garlic powder. We're going to need orange juice. We're going to need onion powder. We're going to need a bag of shredded cabbage. And I think this is a nine ounce of shredded cabbage. And you guys, I just realized this, but we're gonna work with it to see how it goes. I picked up uh, these egg rolls at uh, Walmart and I just realized they were vegan. I thought they were the normal egg rolls, but we're going to work with it and see how it comes out. And of course, we're going to need canola oil to fry the egg rolls in. All right, you guys, let me chop up the brisket. Uh, we'll get the cabbage on and I'll come back and show you. Okay, I roughly chopped uh, the uh, shredded cabbage and we're just going to stir it. Because you know also uh, cabbage uh, will produce water. I hope you can see this. I'll show you close. Uh, it really smells amazing. So I said we're going to do this maybe five minutes. No, sorry. Let's do this maybe three minutes. And if it takes longer, I'll come back and tell you guys. And to this, I am going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. But can you see how the uh, cabbage is already shrinking down? Look, you guys, can you see that? All right, let me let this uh, finish sauteing and we'll come back. All right, you guys, uh, here is the uh, cabbage and the uh, smoked brisket, which I did saute for about five minutes. But you guys, you remember when I told you that whenever you're cooking, uh, the ingredients that you have out at times cannot be enough until you get the right flavor that you're needing. So... Uh, until the cabbage and the uh, brisket mixture, I added one teaspoon of orange juice, 
two teaspoons of the barbecue sauce, one fourth teaspoon of sriracha, and two teaspoons of orange, is it orange duck sauce? I'll show you the bottle. And it gave me the right flavor that I was looking for. Now, of course, you're gonna let this cool before uh, we start doing our egg rolls. So when I come back, we'll get started on the barbecue sauce. All right, so let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, I will be back. Okay, you guys, let's get ready with the sauce. Again, as I stated, you can uh, use store-bought. This is our own barbecue sauce, which at the time, I can't give out the recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and do four tablespoons of this. Uh, let me see, do I want four? Let's do three. Three and a half for good measure, all right? So that's three and a half tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And this is what I was telling you guys I put in the uh, brisket and the cabbage. Lost my chain of thought. And you guys, oh, there I go. I'm saying you guys again. All right, I'm going to put the orange sauce in. Let's say I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. Okay, next I'm going to put in, uh, let's say two teaspoons of orange juice. And I'm going to grate up, I'm going to say one fourth teaspoon of fresh ginger. Cause that ginger will give it that spice you guys now if you have kids you know uh don't put it in or you can just make them a sauce separately all right let me get the ginger off of there and we're going to add maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to eyeball this. Remember to always taste your food as you go to see if anything else is needed. Now we're just going to stir it up. Can you see that? This is the barbecue ginger. This is the ginger barbecue sauce. Okay, let me taste it. It is the water. I'm ripping the spoon off. And I'm also having a problem loading to uh, loading the recipe in my description box. If anyone knows if something has changed or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. But let me taste this. See if that ginger gives me a, a punch. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It gives you a nice back throat heat. So this is the ginger barbecue sauce. When I come back, we're gonna do the egg rolls, fry them, and wrap them up. Let's get ready to rumble. All right, now we're going to fill our egg rolls. So let me show you. Hope I'm not in the way. We're going to take maybe Let's see, what is that? Let's go ahead and do a tablespoon. So we want them really meaty, all right? And you see I have my egg rolls kind of diagonal. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take this, you're going to take that. Oh my God, you guys. Oop, dang. I said the word again. And we're going to go here. Okay. I've just jacked that one up. Let's try this again. 
going to go under and going to roll. And I forgot my egg wash. So I'm just going to sit it here and then get the egg wash. Okay, let's do this again. One more again, you guys. One more again. Now, I'm not the best roller, but I guarantee you these will be some of the best brisket egg rolls you've tasted. Okay, let's go again. Where are my sides? Let's go here. Let's go here. I want my sides tucked in pretty nicely. I hate it when any of the sides are just left hanging out. Now I'm going to go. Let's, let's try this one more again. See, this is live. Since I'm really doing it in front of you guys. Okay. Now let's tuck in. Bring this in. Bring that in. Let's tuck in. And let's roll. Looks pretty good, huh? Once I do my egg wash, you guys, then I'll come back and we'll fry these babies. Put two table, two cups of canola oil in a large uh, frying dish. Set your oven, I have it, set your oven. I have it at a seven. And please make sure your oil is hot. Uh, what I do, I take water, do it on the tip of my fingers and put it in the oil. And if the oil starts bubbling, then it's hot enough. All right, I'll be back. All right, Royal Family, here's the finished product of the brisket egg rolls with the ginger barbecue sauce. And you Royals, I'm trying to keep from saying you guys, I wanted to cut it open so you guys could literally see the brisket on the inside. And it took about three, three and a half minutes on each side. So you want it nice and crispy. Let me just grab one and show you guys. Look at that. You see that? Then I'll put a little of the ginger barbecue sauce on it. Let me take a bite. I want you guys to hear this. You hear that? This would be so great for your New Year's Eve party, you guys. I promise you, it is smoky. The barbecue sauce gives a hint of heat because of the ginger. And they're just freaking awesome. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank all of my old subscribers. Please share and subscribe. And you guys, oh, there I go. And Royals, I will be back on Tuesday with another video for your New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm going to say appetizers. All right. God bless you. And I'm talking with my mouthful. God bless you. And until we meet again, bon appetit.